Today I'm going to show you what I did to install a subwoofer to my 2023 Subaru Crosstrek using a line out converter, also known as an LOC. I'll be using a 300 watt sub with a built in amplifier. I picked up this LOC from AutoZone for 25 bucks. Here are the wire colors for reference. The tools make the job go easy, so use the right ones. A plastic pry tool and multimeter are highly recommended. These butt splice connectors and quick splice connectors are also really nice to have. The first thing we're going to do is run power from the engine bay to the trunk. Now I found an easy way into the cabin following the latch release for the hood. This is when a plastic pry tool is absolutely necessary. Take your time as these rivets will come up, but will also break very easily if they are put under too much force. I can't say this enough. Take your time. These come out a lot easier than most people think. Once you have the plastic piece removed, it's time for some more. Once again, using your plastic pry tool, work your way around the wheel well to find the access point into the cabin. You'll remove a number of these plastic rivets. I believe I took out six or seven to gain access. Don't forget the rivet under the car. The access should now be visible from the wheel well. It's a bit tight, but finding your way isn't overly difficult as long as you take your time. Here is where it comes in to the cabin. Now it's time to run the power cable. Be sure to use a fused cable. I'm using a 10 gauge cable since I won't be pulling that much power. Be sure to consult a professional if you don't know what size wire to use for the amount of power your amp will be pulling. I put this video together for free and I won't be taking any responsibility if you mess your own vehicle up. Now with the positive wire secure and safe, I can hook it up to the battery. Do not connect to the battery until after the cable has been run as you could short something out or hurt yourself. Next is tapping into the speaker wires for the line out converter or LOC. To do this, I connect to the wiring harness that plugs into the head unit. I've heard some people run it straight from the door panels, but I personally found it more difficult when I attempted that method in my last vehicle. Once again, a plastic pry tool will get these components out fairly easily. Take your time and move slow. Don't use brute force to get things out as this will end up breaking more. These components should slide right out with minimal effort once they've been loosened. Around the head unit there will be four screws. Take these out to get access to the wiring behind. Getting the head unit out wasn't difficult once I removed the top connecting set of wires. That was difficult, but once removed it made it much easier getting access to what I need. Once in the back, I tapped into the rear speakers that are located right here. In this point in the video, because I'm editing now, um, I kind of just breeze over something that I wanted to expand on. I had to test the continuity of each of these sets of wires. And I did that because finding wiring schematics or diagrams online is an absolute joke. Some of the other videos I was watching on other or older cross trek models, the coloring and the wires are completely different. So be very careful. Don't just start tapping into stuff or cutting wires. Know exactly what you're cutting into before you do that. This honestly took the longest was finding which wires to tap into. So I'd highly recommend you also take the time to find which wires you want to tap into before you just start snipping away. Well, that interruption was rude, but necessary. Let's continue. Now I'm not very smart. So to see which wire ran to which speaker, I took an old 3.5 millimeter audio cable and jerry rigged it so I could send signal from my phone. It made the job so easy to find out which speakers were which. I simply put on my favorite tune and listened to hear where the sound came from. To run it all, I used heat shrink to keep all the speaker cable together. I also clearly marked which was being run from the driver side and passenger side so I could avoid confusion later on. Now that I know which speakers are which, I can tap into the wiring for some quick splices. These are quick. This only took like 30 seconds. That's not true at all. And done. So quick and easy. Just like the box said. 
Make sure you run your speaker wire down a different side of the car than the power wire. This will help ensure a clean sound when everything is running. With the speaker wire ran along the passenger side and the power cable ran alongside the driver's side, the last thing I need to do is find a strong location to ground to. Found one! Let's test it out and see what we're working with. Using the multimeter, I connected the positive and potential ground to see what voltage would run through it. Sweet! With everything in place, we can now connect the speaker wires to the LOC and hook the amp up. I'll be cleaning these cables up a bit later, but for now, thanks for watching.